you are a target, Karen. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are you are a new Muslima, and you're young, and you have no it's no Muslim family to have your back. <laughs> So I reverted in um, December 28th of last year um, to Islam from Christianity. When I told my parents, they did not accept it. Um, I just turned 20 now and I do want to get married. I just don't know um, how or I, I know that I need a Wali, but my dad isn't Muslim. So what do I do about that? That's a question you're going to have to take to your local Imam. Uh, I would prefer to to stay in my lane and that's not my lane right but yes you will need a wadi in your case okay you will have a wadi appointed for you okay but again please take that uh, that type of question to your local imam because i'm not qualified to give advice on that but on that note karen you're 20 okay. years old you said yeah yeah so what are you looking for in a potential husband what are your requirements uh um I, I don't I don't have much really <laughs> or okay. I don't know to be honest okay yet. okay okay fine uh how much let's start off with the basics how much does he have to earn for you to consider him a, a, a for you to feel safe settling down and having his children how much do you feel he needs to earn um at least 40 a year 40k 40k a year okay uh, that's that's reasonable the average in America is 38,500 fine okay and what 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 height does he have to be how tall does he have to be um preferably uh five eight or higher okay how tall are you i'm five two you're not gonna have much problems then karen <laughs> he'll be fine what type okay. of character does he have to have um someone humble someone that doesn't talk too much <laughs> um uh, just someone nice, um, not someone too, um, how can I say it? Not someone too, um, I can't find the words. It's not rude, but it's more of a, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. And what are you doing right now to to find, you know, your Prince Charming, your husband. What actions are you taking on a daily basis to help move you in that direction to find to find yourself somewhere? Um, that's the problem. I, I'm not doing much. I know I can't, you know, really go on those Muslim dating apps because I don't really trust that. Um, so honestly, I'm just uh, going on with my daily life and I guess I'm waiting on someone to walk up to me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you're waiting for... Then you, you're probably going to be waiting a long time, sister. Look, Yeah. first of all, Mabrook, congratulations for, for, for making the best decision of your life, frankly speaking, becoming a Muslim, okay? A Muslim, I should say. Secondly, yeah. you are going to have to... The best, my best advice to you is, where do you live? Whereabouts do you live? Which state? I, I live in um, South Carolina, in the South U.S. Carolina. Okay, South Carolina. And uh, are there many massages around? Massages? Um, what is that? Like, ma masjid. you mean ma masjid? Yes. Well, the closest masjid to me is uh, 30 minutes away. Okay. Let me give you a piece of advice, Karen. Am I pronouncing your name correctly, by the way? Yeah, it's Karen. <laughs> I <Yeah>. hate my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that is this. I want you to be careful because revert sisters in general, mm -hmm. especially that you're young, are prime targets for predatory brothers. What do I mean by that? There are some mm -hmm. men, not just Muslims, but some men who, you know, like to engage in short term non committal sex with women. Now, the way that Muslims get around this is by marrying the sister, spending a week, a couple of weeks, a month, a few months, and then tossing her to the side and moving on. I want you to be uh, wary of these types of brothers. If a brother approaches you, Karen, and says mm -hmm. to you, you know, um, 
and you say to him, you know, can I meet your family? And he says to you, no, no, don't worry about meeting my family. You don't need to meet my family. It's fine. That's an instant red flag. Okay? If he's not providing yeah. you with a legitimate reason why, and even then, he might be he might be sending you some sweet lies. Because you are a target, Karen. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're a new Muslim, and you're young, and you have no, it's no Muslim family to have your back. What is the purpose of a wali? Do you know what the purpose of a wali is? To take care of you and um, pick the right suitor for you. Right? For you? Yeah, essentially to protect you, period. Yeah. So when you have a Muslim wali, he can protect you how? By uh, us men, we know other men. We get men, right? And we can we have a good sense or a good smell for a man who's serious and for a man who's not serious. Women, on the other hand, can be easily uh, can be won over by a few sweet words. Yeah, yeah. She can be she can be won over, right? So this is what you want to be careful of, and that's the purpose of a wali. So I just want you to be cautious of that. If a brother presents himself to you and he is he's he's been shady. He doesn't want to mm -hmm. introduce you to his family. He might be looking for a short-term thing. He might not be looking for a long-term thing. Where that okay. Might. I do live in an area where there's not that many Muslims. Or from what I can see, um, Muslims around. I've only seen like a handful of Muslim women around. Okay. So <laughs> which who are the friends that you spend the most amount of time with? What What is their religion? Um, I really just have one friend from work. She's atheist. Okay. And you spend most of your time with her, right? Yeah. Okay. So this, again, the Prophet ﷺ said that you are upon the deen, the religion of your friend, meaning our friends have an influence on us. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's inevitable, right? And in another narration, he mentioned, he gave a parable of entering uh, uh, a blacksmith. And then coming out smelling of coal and so on. And then entering a perfumery and coming out smelling of perfume. That's the similitude of our friends. So you want to, Karen, you want to mingle with the Muslim community that you have there in South Carolina, especially with the sisters, you know, get involved in the sister circles. And inshallah ta'ala, you know, they can help you find, you know, find your husband to be. But please, again, be cautious of what I just warned you about. Brothers who might be approaching you for the purpose of, you know, deflowering you but not committing to you in the long run all right all right fair enough <laughs> all right karen i wish Thank you the best you. take care